So last time out in the DOF save, we were settling in to life under our new manager, Diego Simeone. About halfway through the season and things were going, well, they were going very well, weren't they? We were almost dreaming of what could happen with our brilliant squad and our now brilliant manager and the potentials for all of those players to go and improve. But today I'm going to take it up a notch. I'm going to ratchet it up just slightly by now officially declaring, officially that was, that we were in a title race. Come on, let's go and win this blooming league. Okay, so welcome back to the DOF where this, this right here is the situation. We sit after 29 games of our whatever season this is of 2029, we sit in second place, just three points behind leaders AS Monaco, who have weirdly in this save become the main rivals, the main threat to win in Liga 1, which is kind of our ultimate aim here. I feel like if we did win it and it was Monaco we beat, we'd maybe have to try and continue and try and win the Champions League, at least play in the Champions League. However, we've got a real chance. And today, I've stopped it here on the 14th of April, just five games away from the end of the season because we play Monaco away from home. It's going to be a live comic extravaganza in that it's just going to be that game. We're going to look at what's happened so far since that January window where we left things off last episode. But we're going to play this live con because I think it's going to be a real determining factor on whether actually we can believe we're going to win this league. Or if we fall six points behind, maybe we need to turn our attentions to the Europa League or maybe even the French Cup, both of which we are still in. I'll tease you that one. But before I go and show you how the rest of this season has gone, just want to say kind of early in today's video, please do subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. And I need your help a little bit. When you get to this sort of stage of a save where we're what now, 10 episodes in and it's been a few weeks and things, interest kind of tails off a little bit. It's natural. I get it. I watch series and my interest tails off too. I really appreciate you guys being here and still being here though. If you could just make sure you drop a like and just leave a comment each video, I would, you wouldn't understand how much I would appreciate that. It, it just goes to show that you're really sticking with it. And I do appreciate that so much anyway. Um, leave me that like, leave me that video and let's, let's have a look at how the rest of this season from January to now has gone. And this here is that sea of green. Diego Simeone, who knew, is a fantastic manager and he's doing a great job with this Paris FC team. This squad that we've built over the past few years as we've taken our way or made our way into Liga 1. This was the game that we played together. It was this 3-1 win against Havre AC. And it was, I mean, it was at a canter, wasn't it, really? Since then, we have won every single game bar two, which is not bad, is it? We like Diego Simeone and the job he is doing here. Those two games that we dropped points in were a 4-1 away loss to Nice, which was a little bit worrying. That is, I mean, not quite the standards that we've set ourselves. We also drew a 3-3 home tie against Sociedad, but we'd already beaten them 6-3 in the away leg, meaning we had gone through in the Europa League. If I show you that Europa League run, let's start there because you can see we're, we're going strong in it. Uh, in that Europa League, let's go back to, we're into the semi-final, by the way. We are playing our French rivals, Nice, the team that we lost 4-1 to in the league that I just showed you, which... Does that make me worried a little bit? We're going to play all of these games as live comms, I think. I think the way that we're going to do videos is we're going to slow things down slightly, just in case, just in case we win this league title this year. We kind of want to see it happen, don't we? If I go back to the league phase here, look, we, we, we stomped home. I don't know if that's a phrase that people use, but we won every single game in the league phase. The final one being a 7-0 win against AIK, 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 Ike. I think it's Ike. We, I did a... I was Calathea and the journeyman in the Twitch save and people tried to teach me on how to pronounce different team names. And you know what? If I say it wrong, you all tell me how to say it right in the comments down below. Thereby, you know, getting you some engagement on the video and getting comments. So ultimately it works for me. I'm going to go with Ayuk as their name there. We beat them 7-0. We went through to the knockouts where we skipped through this knockout playoff round straight to the round of 16 where we drew Sociedad, as you saw before, 9-3. On aggregate, we conceded a lot. Uh, sorry, 9-6 on aggregate. I am still wrong. Drawing 3-3 three, three away from home, but beating them 6-3 at their place. Uh, it, it, yeah, it worked out all right in the end. Although, was it 6-3 at our place? Either way, we went through 9-6 in the end, through to the quarterfinals, where we drew Gladbach of Germany. We beat them 7-0. I'll show you this second leg here. A 4-0 
yeah, the second leg was at home. It doesn't quite line up with the home and the away legs on there, does it? It look, makes it look a bit weird. Second leg here, look. 4-0. They had zero shots on target. Leonardo with two. He is a goal-scoring machine. If any player has made an, if, uh, an impact this year, it might just be Leonardo that's made the biggest impact. He's very, very good. Bargi, sorry, it was Michelotti at centre-back who got one and Naipan who also got one, who I think... Did he come on or did he go off? He went off or came on. He's, he, he was a sub at some point in this game here. 4-0 win there through to the semi-finals where we have Nice. And that will be where we're going to finish this season up. Today we're going to play against Monaco. Maybe we'll go and play the French Cup semi-final as well. We might make it a bumper episode. We'll see how things go. We'll see how we get on. If we're really down and in the dumps because we've lost to Monaco, I might not want to go and play this League Cup game. We'll see, The French Cup game, sorry. We'll see how we go. I kind of want to have you along on the road with me. Then we've got a game in the league against Clermont. You'd expect to beat them. They are bottom of the league. It's at home. If we don't, we're in a bit of trouble there, aren't we? Then we have the two legs against Nice with Marseille away in between. We finished the league season with two home games, Rennes and Bordeaux. If we're in the mix here, I'm going to be feeling confident. Let's have a look at the run-in, actually, of Monaco. Because if they've got a tricky run, if they play Paris Saint-Germain, perhaps, two away games... It's Montpellier and Lyon. Not, I mean, six is the best out of the two positions, but three away games in their last four games. Lille are no slouches either. They're fourth. They've also got Nice in a game coming up soon. If we can beat them, I reckon we've got a chance in this. I just reckon we've got a chance. PSG are not really there this year. We are seven points clear of them. Let me just show you as we go through the team a little bit here. Let me do a quick pick, which is going to be based on, let's pick best 11, which is based on what... Simeone would go for with this 4 2 3 1. I'll show you some of the uh the, the the stats of these players on here. Let me just quick auto size these. Sorry, auto size all columns just so you can see the assists on here too. Lafont is leaving transfer arranged. I'm gonna go for either either Noah Atabolu or Giorgio Mamadashvili is going on a free contract. He's leaving Saudi Arabia. He is on £700,000 a week, so I can't get him yet. But if he does go on a free, he might bring his wage demands down. So I'm keeping an eye on that as well in terms of the goalkeeper situation, which I know you want to keep on top of as well. Vinicius Tobias is maybe my favourite player ever. 17 assists, 11 goals from right back. Michelotti and Silla, both first choices in here. Silla is suspended here, which is a bit of an issue. So I'd expect Lenny Yoro to come in or Van Veek might play. He's played three times or three starts there. Eight sub appearances too. I would expect Lenny Yoro to come in though. Parente, our left back, did his uh, is, is cruciate ligaments. He's been out for months. He's, well, he's got another four to six months still to go. He's been out for a while. But we do have a very, very able deputy in Adam Asnu that we saw last episode, didn't we? So he will come in there. We've got Kone Naipan, but also Johansson, who's also played. Johansson, who's played 28 games in there. Um, we've got, what, 27 on Naipan? 40 games for Manikone. Didn't play in that last game. I expect him to play today. The game is tomorrow, I should say. I expect him to play in today's Livecom game, though. 10 goals, 12 assists from him. Bargi, Krupi, Rago, Leonardo. Leonardo's got 33 goals in 38 league games. Even on the bench, look. Kusi, sorry, 10 starts, 18 goals from 10 starts. We've got so many options. I, I was almost thinking, is he good enough? I think he's getting to the point where he is going to be good enough anyway because he's still developing and he's playing enough games to still develop. So we're in a good spot. This is going to be the squad, I would imagine. I'm going to unpick it and I'm going to go and make sure we get ourselves into this game by going to our main man, watching man, bring him back from his holiday, have a quick look at his lovely little face here. I'll see you as we go and play what might be a title decider. At the very least, it's a very, very important game. I'll see you as we play Monaco. Come on. Okay, so here we go. Teams are apparently warming up. Match preview. Let's have a look at what watching man. That's not true. Let's have a look at what Simeone has picked in terms of a team. There's Monaco's very defensive. Do you remember this when we got beaten by them before? That really like, it's like a back eight that they play. There's the team. It's Nipan from the left-hand side. Did you see that? Yoro does start at the back as we did expect. And I assume at left back it was as new. Nipan playing as the left inside forward is an interesting choice. That means there's no Zhao Rego. I wonder, I actually don't know if that's an injury or not. Either way, an interesting choice. Let's find out how we can do. I'm actually going to do this because somebody asked for it before. And I'm actually going to put the, the game speed down a little bit. Free kick straight to... Okay. I was going to say a free kick straight away for Monaco. They've scored immediately. It's Salisu. 
who's got himself on the end of a free kick. We are 1-0 down really early on here. Annoying, they're also using this orange ball, which I think might be a Liga Un thing. It makes it hard to see. Somebody left the comment saying, it's hard to see the ball on, on mobile. I, I can't change the colour of the ball, I'm sorry. Here, though, hopefully we put that orange ball back in their net as we have a set piece of our own with uh, Naipan now recycling it. Ben is going to clear. It's not a good clearance. Tobias. You're my you're my man. Yes, you are. Get in, Vinicius Tobias. I honestly, I love him. I love him more than some of my family members. I think Vinicius Tobias has popped it in the back of the net. It's one one, and we've recovered from a, an early setback here. Because I should probably say at this stage that I'm I'm maybe not expecting to win this game. Maybe that's the pessimist in me. But Monaco always beat us. Our record against them is is terrible. Looking back at it, I think we've won one of the last five against them. They're obviously the team that won the league last year. They're the team that's top of the league this year. If we get anything, a draw away from home, I think I'd almost be happy with it. However, just think how nice it would be if we could go there and win. I would love it. I would love it. Here they come on their own attack then. Ahmed Hozic into Singo down this right-hand side. They've got a good team, haven't they? Singo's a great right wing back. Simic heads wide. He's a threat too up front. Rocco Simic. And uh, we, we haven't really had a look at this team yet, have we? It's Johansson and Kone in midfield. Michelotti and Yoro as expected. Bargi from the right. Krupi in behind. Marcus Leonardo. Here come Monaco again. 20, 24 minutes on the clock now. And it's a good interception, but a poor clearance, which is going to be recycled by the men in red and white. Golovin, good save. Lafont in his farewell tour, you could probably say. Alban Lafont. He's been a great servant for us but we are going to say goodbye to him this summer and we're going to have to find that's not good marking lads oh my word Golovin's hit the bar and that was a save I think that had to be saved in the end from Lafont. that was horrible defending we left this guy free Golovin on the edge of the box if they do the same thing again that would be really annoying this time it is headed away and Kone's actually going to get that don't think he's going to score from here but what are you going to do with it Manu win a free kick or a okay or he did win a free kick fair play to him that's what I asked for, and he did win that free kick. Good work from him. All of the highlights are going to Monaco, though. 27 minutes now. Singo heads wide. Okay. If those are the, 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 the pedigree of the, 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 the highlight we're seeing, maybe it's not the worst thing in the world. A little bit of time going by. We have only had the two shots, though. That one on target. Here we go, though. We should get a shot on, on goal ourselves again here. Johansson hit the post. We've gone close. It was a long way out that though. I'm looking at the performances. Rooney Bargy's not having his best game. 6.4. That was a 6.3 before. Back down to a 6.3. Well, it's a 6.3 on here, but a 6.4 on there, which is interesting. And we have we have made it to half time. They've made a sub. Sambi Lakonga is on. We've not yet made a sub. I feel like Bargy might be one of the first. Naipan's very tired, actually, playing on this left hand side. Doesn't look like he's got a knock. There's a change. Telehovsky and Juf. Two changes. I'll just pause it here. Andy Jufon and Telehovsky. Dennis Telehovsky in the midfield. He's taken off Manu Kone and who was the other guy? Johansson has also gone off. So both midfielders changed. Bargi and Naipan are still on. An hour has gone. Is that just fresh legs that he's going for? Is that, look at these, the, uh, he's got a DLP and a ball winning midfielder in there at the moment. So he's moved away from those those defensive midfielders that he did play a lot when we were looking last time, right? So he has changed up the roles a little bit too. Here's Bargi, not having his best game as he loses the ball. Here is the Superman that is Tobias. Here is Rudy Bargi. Hit the post. That would have been a huge goal for us. 65 minutes on the clock. Rooney Bargi goes close. He's got a corner to take now. Near post. Kusi Asari's on. He's headed it over. He's six foot six and he, he didn't really get over it, did he? So Leonardo off and... Do you know what? Actually... It's Leonardo to the left wing, Kusiasari on up front, and it's Naipan that has been withdrawn. So an interesting change there to move Leonardo wide, not something that I'd really thought of doing. He's sticking with Bargi with this 6.3, and now it would be heartbreak time, wouldn't it? If we've seen it through to what is the 60, 70, 77th minute here, if they score here, Lafont punches. A little bit risky to punch that one, Alban. Probably would have liked it if he could just come out and you know, catch it would have been good. Here come Monaco again. Singo down the right-hand side. He's going to cross it. Yoro clears. 
going to be a third wave of this attack, which usually spells trouble. Chao Enrique is in the box. He's going to cross it from here. He shoots and LaFont saves. Have we got away with another one there? They're going to have a corner, which will be flung into the box by Chao Enrique. At this stage, I'm like, can we nick one on the break? Or are we just going to be able to hold out? Good catch from LaFont. Are we going to launch our own attack? I'd imagine that's end of highlight. It is. 10 to play. Monaco come forward again. I just, do we have the counter-attacking ability? Tobias heads away into a nice position for Rooney. Here is that counter-attack. Rooney Bargy into Juf. He's got runners ahead of him. He goes, it's a really poor pass. What was that? Telehovsky made the run for it. What are you doing, Tobias? He's let Enrique run. Chao Enrique crosses. Cleared. Sort of cleared. It's a foul by Krupe. I'm tense. Are you? Are you as tense as I am? Rooney Bardi's on a 6.2, but yet he's still on the pitch. Chao Enrique headed. Oh, God, the net, the net flick, flickering. What's the word? Rustling. I thought it was in. It wasn't. It was wide. We're into the last minute of regulation time, and we have picked up the ball in their half. Here's Juve into Leonardo, into Krupe. Space to run into the box. Go on. Goes down. Ref. It was a good tackle. It looked like a good tackle, but, you know, you've got to call for these things sometimes. There's a counter-attack for Monaco. Telehovsky's run back brilliantly to win it. Now LaFont has it. Don't be silly, lads. Michelotti, Leonardo flicks on to no one, and Monaco are going to have an attack here, aren't they? Ahmed Hozic. It started with that space for Krupe. Here's Ben Seguir. Into Sambi Lakonga. It's over. It's okay. It's not even really a, a proper chance. A half chance at best. We are out on our feet. We are knackered. We've got away with a point. You cannot say we've outplayed them. But I almost feel like Simeone has done what Simeone does best. And that is, he's just been resilient. And he's been stubborn. And he's got us what could be a really important point. At their place, losing is disastrous. Winning is triumphant. But drawing is drawing's not the end of the world, is it? We have a look at that league table. We remain four, three points behind them with a really favourable run in, I would say. Four games where our last two are at home. We've got Marseille away, which is tricky, and then one other, which I can't quite remember. Clermont at home, I think it is, who are bottom of the league. Win that, keep the pressure on, hope that... We've got to hope that Monaco slip up now, though. It's, it's very much in their hands, isn't it? We've got to hope that they slip up and somehow we can make our way through. I think what we're going to do for this run-in, by the way, is I'm going to go and play this French Cup semi-final. If we make it through to the final, we will see that live as a live comp, obviously. I'm going to go and play Clermont. I think we might be back for the, the real run-in, which will either be the second leg of the Europa League. I might play these Europa Leagues against Nice. Let me know what you think. Do you want to see these as live comps or do you want me to go and play them? And if I get through to here, maybe it's the final two games of the league campaign, plus hopefully a couple of finals, the French Cup final and the Europa League final potentially. So what, four live comms in a video for the last, for the next one? I think that's what I'm going to do and hopefully we get through. But today, that is where we're going to leave it. Thank you so much for watching. As I said before, please do leave those likes and those comments. I really would appreciate them. Also subscribe to the channel because we're aiming for 75,000 before, I reckon before FM 24 is over. I feel like maybe we can even go above that, but we can definitely do that. So please do help out. If you're still enjoying the DOF save though, Thank you very much for being here. I appreciate it. Have a lovely, lovely rest of your day. I'll catch you in the next one for what could be a really exciting run-in. We're still in the fight. We're still in the fight. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.